Hello everybody and welcome to the new series I like to call Game Scraps. What is Game Scraps? Well, it's a series where I take games that I couldn't really make anything out of and or at least not a full series, but I did want to do something with. So I could only find scraps of games. Game Scraps. Yeah. If you're like me, you probably went on Facebook scrolling around for years and years waiting for someone to interact with you or talk to you until this turns into this. When you finally click it though, if again like you're like me, you probably get pretty fucking disappointed when it's just a notification to a game. Now I've got a lot of these notifications but I usually tend to ignore them because boy howdy are there a lot of them. However every now and then I will uh play a game that someone has recommended to me or that has sent me a notification, usually my stepmom, be it, and, and it, it'll slip into my mind, and again, if you're like me, you'll have these moments too, or you'll just play a game randomly, like Cityville, Farmville, Triple Town. The one for me that slipped past the barrier of nope, this time, was a game called Candy Crush Soda Saga. If you ever played the original Candy Crush Saga, you know the basic idea. Put three candles together, meet the requirements. You win! Sometimes there's extra stuff. There's a candy fish. It's pretty cool. Well, well candy fish. It's the sweetest fish. But different colors. However, Candy Crush Saga ain't your daddy's Facebook game. Hold on. Wait, what? My dad plays this one too? Ah, shit. As I was saying, you've got a lot of really weird shit going on. You've got weird octopuses, you've got weird monkeys, weird yetis, a weird German girl? Giant demon gummy bears that you have to free from ice, for some reason, anyways. And just generally a whole bunch of other stuff. You've got several new combinations you can make that you couldn't exactly make in the last one. Such as jizzing green paint onto other candies, turning other candies into fish, Turning candies into explodey things. There's a lot of turning candies into other types of candies. All in all, I have to say that there's a certain childlike charm and wonder to this game. The art style is pretty, and the candies are whimsical, and there's a sick satisfaction from beating out your family members on a level. Yeah, take that, Dad. Who beat you? And besides, there are weird octopuses. Who doesn't love octopuses? Octopi? Octopods? Octopasia? All in all, I had fun in this game, and I can see myself playing this game way too much. <laughs> Just like with the first Candy Crush, it tends to get pretty addictive, and I remember spending hours playing it in school. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Anyway. And besides, it gives me an excuse to use a little idea again. It's like one of my favorite fucking games to use for background music. I love it. Great. Go check them out. Did you like this episode? If so, then go ahead and give my other episodes a look see. I play a lot. Like, a lot. And I know this episode was short, but you know, maybe in the future ones they'll get longer because I'll plan them out better. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me some feedback. Did you like this? Should I do more? Should I just give up and stop? It's all up to you. So go ahead and just kind of click that annotation or, or leave a comment I'll be here waiting C click it C it'll it'll give you candy click it please please Click it. It's right there. 